In this video, we're going to be using straight gold shave. This is Honest Abe and the Defender for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today, as mentioned before, we're going to be using straight gold shave Honest Abe. Tremendous scent on this, which is why I'm using it today. Ugh, absolutely tremendous citrus punch right between the eyes. Oh, this is so good. I don't know if this soap is available right now, but last I checked, the aftershave was, um, which you see here. Oh, this is just, this one is great. It's one of my favorite scents. This is uh, based on Ultra Zest, which is a cologne that I don't think is any longer being produced. We'll show you the notes right there. We got some stuff like tangerine, orange, ginger, spice. Oh, it's beautiful. I really like it a lot. Um, this is in the Patriot base by Strike Gold Shave, which is a really nice base in my opinion. Show you the ingredients right there. We got goat's milk, um, shea butter, kokum. Those are some of the ingredients that I really like. And this is just a great scent <laughs> in the soap and I love it. Um, the cost, $22 for five ounces. And on a cost chart there, that is $4.40 an ounce, which is a fair price. And man, just today, I just want to enjoy uh, a great scent, and this is going to bring it in that department. Um, for the dome shave today, we're going to use the Defender Razor. And I always get asked when I show this particular uh, style of blade, hey, uh, my blades aren't green. It's because the blades I have for this, I, ha I had several packages of them. Uh, this one is older, so I don't think they make this particular color anymore. But the Defender works great. For dome shaving, you can see those blades are sort of spread out to sort of help with clogging. And uh, we're just going to start and wet the dome here. This is just plain water if you're new to the channel. And I am going to use a pre-shave soap, the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Pre-Shave Cube. And we're just sort of applying a little extra soap to the dome. Not that it's necessary, but I have it. I may as well use it. The Strike Gold Shave is, is very good by itself, so... This is not needed, but again, I'm a hobbyist, so we don't need a lot of things that we do. And so we'll apply that. And what I do is just get my head, my hand wet and just sort of froth that up a little bit, add some moisture, and then we'll get to lathering. Uh, made the lather in the Captain's Choice bowl, which I'll show you just here in a moment as soon as I wipe off my hand. Right here. Is the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, and we're using the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Synthetic Brush, which is very inexpensive. I'll link the products that are available below. Whoa, what a scent on this soap. I just love it. Okay, let's get going and get on with the dome shape, because we don't have all day to do it. I have some things I need to do. And again, this is one of those videos that I'm recording well in advance of the, the holiday, so I don't know I might, this might have been shot weeks before it actually airs. I don't really know, or at least a couple weeks. I plan to shoot a number of these head shaves so it'd have some content when I'm traveling or maybe unable to, you know, visiting with family, maybe unable to make a video. So whenever this is, I hope this video finds you well and that you're doing great. As you can see there, no problems with the lathering. Um, this is, a again, the Strike Gold Shave. Patriot base, good stuff, good stuff indeed. And let's set that aside and get going with our Defender. Again, yes, it's a cart. And sometimes I'll, I'll pull the carts out and use them. Keep in mind, we're not only trying to pull in uber geek hobbyists. We want regular folks who might happen along using the Defender to happen upon to this, happen upon, I should say, this wonderful hobby. and. So when you use products like this, it might attract a different crowd, and that's what we want to do. The more people, the better. The more people spending money, buying things, the more people will innovate. And, and quite frankly, the, the Defender works great. Um, I've used it both on my face and on my head. It works great. You know, I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to, you know, shaving my face. But I have used the Defender before on the face, and it works just fine. Um, you can get different uh, levels of blade, like a little more efficient or aggressive, if you want to call that, and less, and so on, if you like. Um, this, I believe, was, at the time I bought it, the, the most 
efficient they had. I can't remember how they actually do the categorization, but uh, this was sort of their top end blade of, at the time. Um, again, I hope everybody is doing well and you're enjoying your shaves. And if you're shaving the dome, I hope you're having great head shaves or whatever you're shaving. I hope it's going well and you're using great products. And man, this soap smells so good. Um, honestly, each time I use it, or I use the aftershave, I just, I can't talk <laughs> enough about it. I, when I originally used it, I don't think that I was enthusiastic, as enthusiastic as I should have been, really. Because since that time, I've just grown to love it. And this would definitely, probably, well, you can't say definitely, probably. Let me, let's be more definitive. This would definitely be in my top 10, 15 cents um, for my preference, which is, you know, I love citrus, right? And this is just so bright, but it's not just a straight like lime or orange. I mean, it, it's got some depth to it, I think. And so I think it's an excellent sin. It makes me wonder why the uh, clone was discontinued because Man, I really like it, and I like it a lot. And that was an excellent first pass with our Defender Razor. All right, let's set that aside. And again, we're just applying some water on the dome. We'll get re-lathering for pass two. Whew. I've been smelling this a lot today, waiting for this, <laughs> waiting for the work day to end so I could get this head shave on. I've been looking forward to it. It's quite dark outside today. It's, I can't even recall what time it is. It's about uh, four o'clock and a little after four and it is already quite dark. It's maybe 4.30, quite dark outside. So it's a very dreary day outside, but it's bright inside because this scent really brings it. And again, the Patriot Base, I haven't heard it. Uh, I mean, I've, I've seen people use it and talk about it being good, but it's not one of those that gets mentioned often enough, in my opinion. You'll hear about all the other bases and how great they are, and, and, and they certainly are, but this one is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, this is a very good quality soap, in my opinion. Underpraised, as far as I'm concerned. Very nice. Woo-wee! Great scent. <laughs> I know I've said that before, but can't help myself really is nice. And I hope if you're able to try it, again, I don't know that the soap is uh, available. As of the time of shooting, I don't think it was up on the website, but the aftershave was. So if you really like citrus and you're not put off by being close to winter time here in the United States, um, I would say it's a, it's a green on that. The light is green if you love citrus for this soap. Because it is nice. And I like that ginger. Um, you can pick out that. I can sort of get some of that ginger. And I think that is a really nice compliment um, to the other notes. Again, it's, it's got multiple layers. It's not just your average lime, orange. And, you know, I love those scents too. Don't get me wrong. I'll use those all day. Every day. But this one... It's a cut above in terms of your average run-of-the-mill citrus scent. It's going to be well above that, as far as I'm concerned. And if you have used it and you like it, please uh, comment below and let me know. I'm interested to see, or hear, I should say, how many of you have tried it and what you think, and if you enjoy it as much as I do. I always like connecting people with gear that they really, uh, they really like. And if you are a citrus lover... I'm going to tell you, this one, <laughs> this one is a definitely a one you should probably put in your kit if you are, if you tend to favor citrus scents or you find yourself often wanting citrus scents, I would say don't leave this one out because uh, it's really nice, or at least I feel it is, or whatever that is worth. Oh man, this is really enjoyable, I must say. Very nice indeed. I hope you all are, again, 
I don't know when this will air, so I don't know even if it's during the Christmas holiday or who knows. Because I got so many things to do that I wanted to make sure I had um, some material up on the channel when I'm, well, it's gonna most certainly be a little busier doing some touch-ups now. The, the Defender, by the way, I haven't talked much about it, and I apologize because I've been so nuts over the soap today. Really nice. If you want to try, a, um, I think it's especially good for head shaving because it's, you know, the, the blades are spaced out, so they're not really close together, like, say, the Harry's. And so this one just does a great job. I like the Harry's, too. And sometimes people ask me, which one do you prefer? It's tough. Sometimes it really varies. In some videos, I prefer the the Harry's, and some I prefer the the Defender, and I sort of go back and forth on it to tell you the truth. So, so it's really hard for me to say, but generally, I like both and have enjoyed them quite a bit. Um, and you can get one fairly cheap, you know, and, and give it a shot, see what you think. Um, does a good job for me. And it's one of those, uh, you don't really have to focus so much with it as you might the leaf or maybe a de-eraser or something like that. And so for that reason, you know, you can just sort of relax and you shouldn't ever be cavalier when you have a blade in your hand, but certainly this is a little easier to use than a leaf or a de, in my opinion. That was outstanding. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And that was just a really nice, easy going head shave. No bubbles, no troubles. I'm absolutely level cue ball smooth. That was terrific, I must say. Uh, hearing a siren out there. Got the Defender today, which did a fantastic job. We used the West Coast Shaving uh, Two-Tone Synthetic. Fantastic. Of course, Captain's Choice Copper Lathering Bowl. Fantastic. The Strike Gold Shave Honest Abe. What a beautiful scent. I just can't say enough good things about the scent and the quality. It's just really good stuff. And we shall finish it off with the Honest Abe Splash, which again, as of the time of this recording, still available. If you like citrus, this one brings it. This one brings it. So I would say you're probably safe to try this one. Oh, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man, that's good. Let's go for another round. Got to do it. Oh, that just smells great. Whew. Excellent scent. Excellent head shape. I hope you all are doing excellent wherever you are. I hope you're getting outstanding shaves. And I hope all is well in your world. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.